Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, today's research talk brings us to Macau. And on this occasion, we have the pleasure to welcome Professor Rochelle Gu from University of St. Joseph in Macau, one of the two special administrative regions of China. Professor Gu will introduce us to the Chinese model of collaboration among the government the universities and the industrial sector, mainly focusing on the case of Macau. We will be able to better understand, among others, how higher education institutions collaborate with governmental officers and industrial leaders in human capital formation and research innovation. So Professor Gu, thank you so much for having accepted our invitation as a guest speaker. Uh, as I was telling you, we are really honored to have you with us today. And of course, uh, our greetings also go to all the friends from the University of St. Joseph, which are following us today, including the rector, uh, Reverend Professor Stephen Morgan. Thank you so much for uh, your presence today with us. Okay, thank you, Professor Alam. Um, actually, the pleasure is mine. It's really a great pleasure for me to be able to contribute to a webinar uh, research talk at the IFCU. I'm kind of uh, an old friend of IFCU to a certain extent that I'm a graduate from one of your signature programs together with my rector, Professor Morgan. Um, so uh, to start the presentation, please allow me to share my screens. Yes, okay. just a moment, because I will introduce you before oh, that. Okay. I mean, I will introduce a little bit some highlights of your biography for people that uh, don't know you. So I have just um, uh, some, um, some words uh, that I would like to share with our audience. Um, so Professor Rochelle Gu uh, is currently the Dean of the School of Education at the University of St. Joseph. Uh, she's a sociologist. Uh, she obtained her PhD in sociology from the National University of Singapore and was a visiting fellow in Yanqing Institute at Harvard University. Uh, as a researcher, uh, Professor Gu works from a cross-disciplinary angle, uh, integrating sociological perspectives into the teaching and research of education and development. Her recent research focuses on higher education systems uh, and regional development in Asia. So now, uh, Professor Gu, you have uh, about half an hour for your presentation. Uh, and later on, we will have some time for questions or, or comments. And um, just to make sure that there, are, that there aren't interferences, uh, I would like uh, to ask participants to uh, switch off the mics. Like this, we, we make sure that the presentation is going on well. So the floor is yours. Now we- Thank you. Um, Thank you, Professor Alam. I'm going to share my screen with the audience now. Uh, hi, um, everyone. Uh, as introduced by Professor Alam, one of my research areas focuses on the higher education and the social economic development. So what I would like to share and discuss with you today is about the Chinese model of government university industry collaboration. Um, using policies and practices of research and education in Macau special administrative region as an example. Um, this might be interesting for those of you who are working in the field of uh, higher education research and who are interested in the triple helix model, as well as who are interested in educational research projects, collaborations with higher education institutions in Macau or other cities in China. Um, so I will start. Many of you uh, might be 
very familiar with this triple helix model or framework that emphasizing the collaboration of uh, industry, university, and the government. It has been widely adopted by researchers and policymakers. In this, uh, in this framework, university is seen as the key institution um, of knowledge transmission and production. An ideal scenario, as you can see from the framework here, um, is known as a balanced model, shows flu uh, smooth flows and effective collaborations of the three spheres. Uh, the demand and development in the industries put forward requests in human resource and produce good opportunities for graduates of the high to the high education. Uh, and universities um, provide produce high quality labor that fosters productivity and innovations in industrial sectors. Government provides institutional infrastructure support to facilitate the interaction, which could increase the effectiveness and impact of human capital on economic and social development. However, in reality, um, the collaboration of the three spheres often developed unevenly and results in different developmental trajectories. Um, China adopted a narrative strongly connects research innovation and the human resource in its national development. A state industry academia link has been strategically developed. This can be seen from the figure here shows you the increased expenditure in research and development, as well as the construction of infrastructure promoting the collaborations. This slide shows you three major pillars of the research and the development infrastructure in China, including the knowledge transfer platform, uh, research-oriented universities, and human capital formation policies. For instance, government has established national innovation development demonstration zones to promote innovation and knowledge transfer. These zones are located in different cities and regions of China, providing resources and support for entrepreneurs, startups, and researchers. In 2015, double first, uh, initi double first class initiatives was launched, aimed to evaluate a group of Chinese universities and disciplines to achieve world-class status. The program seeks to achieve, seeks to achieve um, this by providing significant funding resources to universities and disciplines that meet certain criteria for excellence. At the same time, national and regional level governments implemented policies and mechanisms to attract high level talents. An example here of this, those policies are the Southern Talents Plan, aiming for attracting overseas scientists and researchers to China since 20, uh, 2008. And the recent Young Thousand Talents Plan, uh, designed to attract early career researchers to Chinese research posts. These schemes provide very generous packages for doctoral degree holders in key fields identified for research and development in China. Meanwhile, in the industrial sector, a large number of incubation centers and research departments have been created, research stations to attract doctorate holders in working in those enterprises. Well, um, China is a big country. So actually researchers interested in understanding Chinese model of triple helix have been advocating for more attention to be given to city and regional level analysis. For instance, after analyzing the development of Shanghai, uh, Professor Chai and Liu demonstrated a so-called delayed government-led trajectory of which universities have played an important role in fostering knowledge intensive uh, clusters. For instance, those universities in Shanghai have been very instrumental, creating participants and uh, partnerships among the researchers, entrepreneurs, and other stakeholders. In the case of Shenzhen, uh, known as a special economic zone in China and a city next to Hong Kong, the trajectory reflects a shift away from the centrally planned econom economic model of the past towards a more market-oriented model in which 
um, the industry and academia play increasingly important roles. More recently, the number of universities in Shenzhen increased um, for the past two decades. For instance, uh, one of the world leading universities, um, Chinese University of Hong Kong has set its branch campus in Shenzhen since 2014. The city or regional trajectories requires more attention in particular when China is moving to the stage of developing city clusters and regional integrations. This slide shows you five of China's big city clusters, including here, uh, Beijing, Tianjin, um, Beijing, Tianjin, Hebei metropolitan area, Yangtze River Delta, where Shanghai is located, and the Greater Bay Area here, so uh, let's zoom in and take a closer look at the Greater Bay Area. In 2019, China launched the national plan for Greater Bay Area. This area includes two special administrative regions, Hong Kong and Macau, and uh, nine municipalities in Guangdong provinces in the southern part of China. You can see, see the map here that uh, Macau is uh, located at the west coast of the Greater Bay Area. Um, at the regional level, uh, Greater Bay Area, which we call it as GBA, is planned to be an international innovation and technology hub and a demonstration zone for in-depth collaboration between mainland Hong Kong and Macau by the State Council. Ten more new higher education institutions and branch campuses are planned to be launched in the Guangdong GBA cities. Now let's further move, uh, zoom in to Macau. Macau is an economically highly developed society when we look at the GDP per capita. However, its economic structure is heavily relied um, on this single industry, which is the gaming and tourism. With the hard hit of COVID on its main service sector, Macau government has urged on moderate diversification of its economy by issuing a number of policies to optimize its industrial sector structure. Several new industrial sectors are identified as the main directions for development, including areas like um, traditional Chinese medicine, uh, trade and logistics, finance, and so on by the government. The government university industry collaboration has been promoted via construction of a research and development R&D infrastructure in Macau. First, universities nowadays are seen as key players in providing research productivity and human resources support to the industrial pluralism in Macau and regional integration in Greater Bay Area. Noticeably, actually, many of the high-ranked discipline areas in university here are also the ones being identified by the government as the key areas for Macau's economic diversification. Actually, Macau has a relatively short history of higher education, comparatively speaking, but it has been growing significantly. There are 10 higher education institutions in this small society, including four public and six private ones. Similar as its neighbor, Hong Kong, the higher education system with majority private institutions enjoys a high level of internationalization and institutional uh, autonomy. English is the main teaching and research language for many of the programs here. In recent years, international ranking of universities in Macau has been increased steadily. For instance, um, the University of Macau and the Macau University of Science, Science and Technology are ranked between 200 and 250 by the Times Higher Education World University Rankings in 2023. And uh, my home university, uh, University of St. Joseph is also ranked highly in the field of quality education and development. Uh, secondly, the R&D infrastructure in Macau is also facilitated and guided by financial support. Reading from the recent research funding schemes of Macau government, 
there are three significant signals that we can sense that university research outputs are expected to be transferred to economic effects and productivity. Uh, that research projects cross systems and collaborate with Greater Bay Area universities or enterprises are encouraged. Projects in line with China's internationalization strategy are also promoted. Now let me show you some of the main research funding schemes in Macau. This slide lists the scope of Science and Technology Research Development Fund, which is known as um, FDCT here in Macau. FCD DCT funding schemes covers mainly research projects and scholarships for science, technology, and engineering domains. This slide, the next slide, um, this one shows you the scope of Macau Foundation Research Fund for the academic projects particularly in the field of social schemes, uh, social science and uh, um, humanity areas. As you can see here, research findings are, is also pri uh, prioritized to given um, to these research topics. At the same time, uh, industrial sector in Macau is also a main funding source supporting educational and research projects. This slides exemplifies the Galaxy Entertainment Foundation, of which they have been supporting inclusive education projects in my faculty. Um, as a matter of fact, research and education in Macau are benefited from a multi-level supporting system. Universities in Macau not only able to um, be funded by the local government and industry, but also those ones from mainland. Research findings from a project that I did for Macau government shows that the researchers often enjoy multi-level resources. Here you can see some of the um, research interview extractions. They demonstrate a snapshot of the research about traditional Chinese medicine. Professors in different universities at the management level actually mentioned about the international collaborations Research findings from China's National Science and Technology Department, uh, provincial level schemes, and also the support uh, in Macau. Other support of the uh, research and development in infrastructure includes the establishment of organizations, departments, or university level un uh, units that promote knowledge transfer. Financial support to startups and office space for incubation in mainland China for young entrepreneurs. Um, last but not least aspect is the invest of uh, um, R&D labor training. Considering um, a small society, the number of doctoral students in Macau increased from 772 uh, during the academic year 2020, 2012 to over 4,300 in the academic year 2021, with an average increase rate of 21% during the past decade. And over 90% of the doctoral students hosted by higher education institutions in Macau are from mainland China. There is a clear mobility pattern here that large majority of doctoral students in Macau are from mainland and plan to work in mainland after graduation. They are likely to contribute to research and innovations in internationalizing universities in mainland. And so from this perspective, Macau is becoming an emerging um, destination for cultivation, cultivating high level research related person Nails and uh, human resources for China. For them, furthermore, these research labors are not only keeping up to the knowledge, innovation, and the techniques in academic community, but also they pay a lot of attentions to the regional and the national policies and the developments. It is noticeable that it is notable that. Um, doctoral students in my research project are very familiar with the encouraging policies and the new development in their related research field. For instance, almost every interviewee um, man majoring Chinese medicine mentioned about the recent legalization policy of Chinese medicine quality and the government-initiated industrial park in Hanqing Island. 
microelectronic students doc or doctoral students mentioned described about the consequence and opportunities of recent cuts of chip export from the US to China. Tourism and hospitality students talked about recent policies of building smart tourism platform in Macau. And business marketing students are familiar in incubation policies in the Greater Bay areas. Some of the students are actually very tactical in utilizing those resources among, along those policies to establish their startups or research labs, finding jobs as well. Um, with time constraint, I didn't provide a full analysis on the developmental trajectory for the case of Macau. But the information provided in this presentation, I believe, is sufficient to suggest a very different trajectory of Macau comparing with Shanghai and Shenzhen. Um, flagship universities in Macau transferred from teaching-oriented institutions to research-oriented institutions after the handover um, and moved from institutions mainly provide training for local labor pool to a regionally, a regionally um, significant producer in research and high-level personnel training since the later half of 2010s. When Macau suffers from its um, single uh, industry-led economy under the impact of COVID, the government turned to universities and seeks collaboration from universities to help with the economic diversification. The recent development shows a new phase of collaboration between government and university in diversifying local industrial structure in Macau. So universities are expected to take a more proactive role in regional innovation system. For instance, creating networks and partnerships among researchers, entrepreneurs, and other stakeholders to help and bridge the gap between academia and industry. Um, so I, I guess this is my presentation, but before I end my presentation, I also would like to acknowledge the data used in this presentation. They are mainly um, public policies and uh, information from documents and news, as well as uh, uh, interview data from my research project supported by um, the Macau Education and Youth Development Bureau. The arguments of the presentation are developed based on 26 in-depth uh, interview transcripts from doctoral students, academic faculty members, management level professors in three universities in Macau. And uh, thank you all for, uh, for your precious time and listening. Here is my uh, contact info and also my uh, beautiful home university campus, the Green Campus at Macau. Um, so I hope that there will be good opportunities that we can collaborate. And I uh, left my contact information here. Any questions or discussions are welcome. Thank you.